Hello guys and welcome to the first double digits episode of the real Oliveira career mode. So that is episode 10 to let you know. We are in the month of April and that is the month we're going to be covering in this match. In, not, not in this match, in this episode. So we have this team that we have first. Then we have real other village. Um, I'm not... Club Deport Deportivo Legends. I'm, I'm just going with their badge. CDT and um, Bilbao Athletic. Um, so we're on 85 points. It's pretty much what we might. We've already won the league, and we've only got this episode and next episode before the series. No, not the series. The season ends. So we've done pretty well this season and I think we'll do pretty well in the La Liga next season but obviously it will be harder so next transfer window we'll have to get some high rated players that we can like maybe high 70s that could really help us out so let's start talking about next season and let's concentrate on the, the current so first up we have Mirandas let's go right we're starting the attack our left back now passing it over to Keita now uh, our left back is get pushing up the field. So it is, he's offside. But Keita scores the first goal of the match. Oh no, getting into the box. We get it clear. Now Herbias over to Keita. The guy with one goal. Back to Herbias. Back to Keita. Can Keita do skills? No, he can't. Herbias over to Keita. Keita skips the past the defender. Herbias plays it back. Scoop. Taken out by the defender. Oh no. The Sunday attack. Oh, off the post, and they score from the rebound. Oh, we're starting the attack. Kapari. Keita. Rivera. Kapari. Finesse shot. Great, great save by the keeper. Now, Javier, he keeps it in, and the defender clears it when I was going to whip it into the box. Verdes trying to tackle the, the guy on the wing. Gets past Verdes, but Verdes tries again, but absolutely makes a fall out of himself, and the goalkeeper catches it easily. Selec to Sane. Sane, nice ball control. Over to Keita, who stops his run. Little roulette, fake shot, goal. Kapari. Hits it! Yes, that's a nice finish. Hard and low in the corner. That's how you should do it. Lua Sane over to Ojiba. Over to Lua Lua, who's in a lot of space. And we're just going to go over to... um. Oh my god. He just runs it into his own net. So already, so we've won promotion and we've won the title. Um, already. And um, let me count how many games we've got left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got eight matches left and I've already won the title. Now, the thing is though, do I play the rest of the matches? Um because I've already won the thing. I've only know I've only done one match in this episode. So it kind of is pointless just to show you one match. But realistically, I think it would be better just go into the next season. Go to the next season. Because we've already finished. We've already, we've already won the lead. So there's basically no point. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go into the next season. I am, I am doing it. There's no point in playing these matches. It's just, it's just going to waste my time. So I'm going to skip to the play first. Live reaction. Well, not really live reaction. There's not really anything to react to. And um, yes, we're gonna be moving into the second season um, already. So yep, I hope you will. Actually, no, we're not. I will do a squad report in this episode. Sorry, this episode will be very short. It's just that um, I've already won the league. There's no point in playing these matches, and I'm gonna finish the season. So um, actually, no, no way, wait, wait. I want to play the last match of the season. But actually, I'll sit up to this. 
I'll play the last two matches of the season. Um, basically, I'm just gonna I'm go through all the matches that I did. Did I play any of these matches? No. I think it was just, yeah, it was the two. Right, so obviously we'll play that. Um, so we drew 1-1. We drew 1-1 and we won 1-0. We lost 1-0. We lost 2-0. We won 2-1. Lost 2-1. Drew 1. No, no. Obviously, you can be like any of the best things to do that, but still. So. Contract expiring. Nacho Lopez. He's not really that good, so I don't really care. Alright. Uh, oh, so we have an interest player. Who is that? Um, Esteban. Yeah, I think he is retiring, so to be honest, it's a bad ending to his career. But we finish on 97 points, which is amazing. So now, what we're going to do is look at other leagues. So we're going to see if we beat like, the likes of um, Man City so on points. So, yeah, we've got we beat Man City, we beat PSG, we beat, we beat Dortmund, who in the league, we beat Juventus, and did we beat Barcelona or Real Madrid or anyone in Spain? Oh, what did we get? 97. So, 7 points off there. So, yeah. And we have no, we have more games. So, yeah, that's probably why. Anyway, so we have more points than Barcelona, which is amazing to think. We probably had more points than them now um, when I had 38 matches. So now, what I'm going to do is play a stat. So, at the end of La Liga, and look, unfortunately, Salex then um, win the Golden Boot. Um, he came second with another real elevator, Karim um, Laz. Kapari coming second, he's 15. He's actually a really good striker. Anyone else from Real Alvarado? Nope. Alright. Assists. Uh, Lua Lua got um, second with um, eight, obviously, because them two are joint first, because they've got the same amount. Any more Real Alvarado boys? Herbie Ass is on there. Kapari, Selec. Um, anyone else? Nope. Clean sheets. Esteban, he is. Um, ending the season on a good and a high note because he's got the most clean sheets, but he is retiring. I think he's retiring anyway. Yellow cards, we don't need to fuck yellow cards or red cards, let's be honest. Um, any more competitions that we were in? Copa de España. So, Selec obviously got um, most goals, even though we only got, I think we only got to the um, round of 16, I can't remember. So we got 7, so he's a top. Um, any real, real Vader? Yes, Eris. Um, he's a CDM team. Um, he's the best assistant from our team. Oh, we'll try it with Selec, actually. Um, anyone else? Oh, Hector Font is there. Pina, also there. Um, clean Sheets. We, I don't think we'd be up there, to be honest. Yeah, Esteban is in 12, but because we didn't get rid of that far, so yeah. Yellow cards, red cards aren't really, um, um, you know, anything that we need to look at. Running that tournament. Oh. Okay, that was just the, um, the pre-season tournament, so we don't really need to look at that. Um, Champions League, Rooney got 9, but obviously we're still in that, but in 10, yeah, 8. And yeah, that's enough from me, right? And um, let's have a look at the. Oh, let's have a look at team stats actually. Um, so real Lovato fan. So appearances. Who got the most? Um, say that he's got the most with 34 so, um, appearances. What do you mean? Like he's like one of the best players in our team. So of course he's going to get the most. So be uh, the most goals. Obviously say that. Um, assists. Lua Lua, Clean Cheats, Esteban, um, Yellow Cards, Carlos Pena got um, a yellow card, most yellow cards, most red cards, uh, Fernandez and Rivera joint, uh, joint at the top, no one else has, so that's kind of good for two people only to get yellow cards, and the average, obviously Taylor's got the best, um, I think that's just in the in the league at Alente, I'm not sure if it's like for like the um, whole. Thing. So, what other comp 
so right. You're relieved. Atletico Bilbao beat Schalke 2 1 in the final. In the Champions League, Chelsea won 2 1 against Real Madrid, which is pretty cool. Obviously, we beat League 3 now, right start of the season. Uh, we 9 more than that. Copa de España. Yeah, we've got to the quarterfinals actually. At um, higher than a four. We would have got to this. Um, if we did beat Real Sociedad, we would have lost to Real Madrid, who ended up being the winners. So it could it could have been a nice match against Real Madrid, uh, because obviously Real Madrid are one of the best sides in Spain. But obviously we didn't play against them because we got knocked out by Real Sociedad. So I'm kind of scared for next season because obviously it's going to be much harder. Which is kind of a good thing, because I've never really had a hard career mode. Most of them were just walks in the park, because with Schalke, um, Bayern and Juventus, I, with Schalke, I won the, them in Champions League all, every season. In Bayern, I can't remember if we won it every season, but we won it. Um, we basically just win the Champions League every time. And my aim is to win the Champions League once. With um, Real Oliveto. I'm actually dying for the spoilers, so um, I'll just be right back. Right. So, guys, we're going to be moving on to the squad report. So, Esteban, our 40 year old goalkeeper, is unfortunately retiring at the end of the season. But, however, we have got this new keeper that we find in the January transfer window. So, it's all good. So, he played 39 games this season, which is quite a lot. No goals or assists, he's a goalkeeper. Obviously, he's losing stats. And obviously he's got um, a broken angle with ankle, which is quite bad for your end of his career. You don't want to, you know, end your career on a on a um, wheelchair, which is unfortunate for him. Uh, this guy, I, uh, he only got one appearance. I, I don't know if he had to pay them, but he's not really that good. So I this guy, I feel like he's a pretty decent keeper for a 60 rated keeper. Um, so yeah, this guy, I don't know. I, I haven't really used him enough to, you know, probably give him proper review, but some of the games that he's only had two from the team, which is quite a lot for a keeper. Jose Fernandez, he got up by two, which is the first player to go for a draw, which is nice. And um, he's got two assists, which is quite good for a right back. Johnny Lillison, I think that's how you say it. Um, 11 games, one assist, um, two overall, um, two so side assists, one. Uh, he's 63. 63 rated, uh, Nacho Lopez. Same rating as his mate Jonathan. I don't know how to say his name, I've watched it probably. He got the same amount of games, but yeah, 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 um, Jonathan has got one of it. I need to be down because I can't keep up with um, the pay. Alright, let me just uh, scroll it down so you can get that. Right, so set. Um, 15 games, no gold for a tip, and um, he's still. David, David, uh, Fernandez, he's come down. I might replace him next season because he's getting older. And um, yeah. Borja Gomez, one assist, which is good for a centre back. 69 rating. Going up in a few stats, but not too much. Dropping, he's gone up by four. I've only used him five times, but the times I've used him, he's pretty um, alright. Burgess, he's going down as well, so I might need to get those two centre backs. I'm going to work from the back and then um, all the way up when I buy new transfers. So, yep, that's my plan. Villa, he's gone up by one, even though he's 30, so he might start declining. But I'll keep him because he is quite high rating. And he's got one assist, which is quite cool. Pina, he's going down. I, I, need a, I think I'm going to have to get a new left back next season because he is now 32 years old. Yep, yep, we've got a 35 year old, we're going to have to get an, an, a new left back. Um, left back is probably going to be my top priority. So he's got one goal and two assists, which isn't, isn't too bad um, for a left back. Um, Jeeper, I'm really impressed with this guy. Um, 66, um, now overall, he was 64 at the start of the season. Eight goals and one assist, amazing player. Um, he scored some worldies as well. John Reese, he's moved going down for some reason. I think he's got an injury. 
Um, so, yeah, yeah, and he got a six assist, which is pretty good. You always sign a, I'm going to sign him next season, simply because I only just remembered that I used him in my um, Schalke and Juventus career mode. So, I'm going to send him as, as soon as we start next season. I'm going to put him on the transfer list, so I don't forget. So, he's got one goal and four um, assists, which is pretty alright. Taylek, the star man of the team. Um, 82 rating, he's gone up by 6, which is crazy. And look at them stats, they're absolutely amazing. So, 45 games and 30 goals. And um, and 8 assists, which ain't too bad. Rivera, he's gone up by 4. 18 year old, pretty good uh, player. 20 um, appearances for the team. 2 goals and 2 assists. Which is pretty cool. Next player, Edu Bedia. Um, he's gone up by one rating, which is pretty cool. 23 um, appearances for the club. One goal and five assists, which isn't too bad. Roger Valla has gone up by three. He's got 25 appearances, five goals and four assists, which is quite good. So now Lua Lua, he was actually pretty alright. If I had to be honest, he, um, he's gone up by one. I think I've already said that. Sorry if I'm repeating myself, I'm just, I just forget very easily what I keep saying. So he's played 30 games with 8 goals and 9 assists, so he's clearly more of a setter up, a set you up guy than, um, than obviously a scorer, but he's still scored quite a lot of goals. I don't know how they say this guy's name. I think it's Aguli. I'm not sure, so I just call him Diego. So Diego has gone up by three, had 18 appearances for the club, four goals and two assists, which isn't too bad for someone that's played 18 games. Now, Mikhail has been threatened. He feels like he's been replaced. I don't know, yeah, he probably has, to be honest. But he's still had quite a few games. 32 games isn't, isn't you know, too bad. It's quite a lot of games. But he's only got um, one goal. But he's got six assists, which isn't too bad. Um, his fellow CUM, oh, he's on loan, so we won't be um, using him next year. And of course, he plays for Real Social Bad, because, you know, that's just karma. So he scored 30 goals. No, no, he didn't score 30 goals. Um, he scored six goals with, in fight, eight appearances. And also, again, eight um, goal assists in um, 30 appearances with um, growing. Quite um, bigly, is that bigly? He's going, um, he's growing quite nicely. That's how I put it. Hector Pom, he's losing stats, and um, he's getting older. A lot of people, I've noticed a lot of people in this game are pretty old. I mean, in this career mode, sorry. I, I, I'm just, I'm just not very good at commentating, as you can probably tell. Um, 23 appearances. For fun, um, I've made a lot of bad puns about him, like piping the goals in that and whatever bad puns. Um, three goals and four assists um, isn't too bad for an old guy. Kapari, he is actually amazing. He's gone up by five, which is cool. A little, with a little bit of help from training. So 19 goals and seven assists for him, which is quite good in 35 games. And he's gone up um, a lot of stats. Kone. To be fair, I think he was, um, you know, I don't think he was either good or bad. Sometimes he can be good, sometimes he can be bad. Um, but 13 goals in two matches isn't too bad. Keita, in the mo in the match that we played earlier on in this episode, he was actually uh, pretty good. And um, I'm going to keep him for the sure. And he scored six goals and two assists while he was at the uh, at Real Madrid. And that is our squad report. So, yes, sorry guys, this is a very short episode, um, I, I'm just sorry, because I, I just, as soon as I saw the, basically my plan was, as soon as I see that we have won the league, I'm just going to sim the rest of the season. So that is what I've done, and in, in, in turn to that, you are seeing season 2, seen sooner. So I really, um, appreciate if you appreciate that idea, so... I'm just going to sim the rest of the month uh, by myself, off camera, and um, 
I'll spend my some, some time off camera just seeing if um some good signing pop possibly for next season. So yeah, this is the end of this episode and I'll see you in season two.